actually didn't realise but we had a mosquito in the van and it bit me bit me to pieces, it bit Hannah a few times, but I've got multiple bites on my face, my neck, my legs. Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Finding Our Adventure. We have left Cornwall for a few weeks and we have come to explore the island of Mallorca. And we have, we have left the van for a van. We are actually partnering with Two Brothers Campers on the island of Mallorca to show you guys around. And we'll give you a full van tour later in another video. But for now, we are just going to enjoy this beautiful spot that we parked up at and we're going to go put some dinner on. We've got the back doors open because we haven't got the girls with us even though we're very sad obviously that they couldn't come with us but we are making the most of it and it has been such a hot day here the sun has started to cool and it's starting to drop and i think we're going to get an epic sunset so we can't wait to cook here and just enjoy the incredible ocean views seeing as we're back in spain we absolutely love home pilers and they do the best tritzos of course in spain so the sun has just set and we're chopping all the ingredients and we'll be cooking very soon. Dinner is almost ready. Well, it's an absolute sweat box in here at the moment, um, but it's tasting delicious and we are going to tuck in now and we'll probably see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. We woke to thunderstorms this morning and torrential rain but the storms have all blown away now. It's a little bit windy still, but it's clearing up and we have found this incredible park up here. Look at the color of the water behind us. And we've driven about an hour across the coast this morning and we're gonna to head to the beaches now to explore. So we are set up on the, our first Mallorcan beach, which is really nice. There's a lovely breeze, which helps it feel a bit cooler. So it's quite humid at the moment because of the storms this morning. There are beautiful trees that line the back of the beach and it looks really wild and rugged and I'm quite excited to maybe go and explore that in a bit. There's so many beautiful houses, the colour of the water is incredible when the sun comes out it makes it really pop and uh, yeah it's just really nice. The sand's beautiful colour and uh, just chilling and just ate some delicious bread. Could life get any better? We have had such an epic time at the beach. We've been in the water. It's really nice and the colors were just amazing. And now we're just cutting across to another beach that we think is gonna be even more beautiful. It's like a little cove. I don't know if there's so much of a beach there, but it's supposed to be a beautiful little cove. We've got to walk past this like nature reserve, I think it is. And there's beautiful buildings here and the trees and everything. And it's just really, really cool around here. Been so nice this afternoon the sun's come out we've just been exploring around this kind of little mini peninsula which is just next to the beach and we've explored and come across this really cool little section where i don't know what these like buildings are they look like little maybe boat houses or places where people store something i'm not really sure what they are but they're very pretty and um yeah it's feeling really warm this afternoon so we've just been taking a couple of pictures and I think we're gonna walk back through the town and head back to the van now. So everywhere we go, Hannah has to say hi to the local cats. It's a little one. <laughs> Well, 
we have just made it back to the van we had a quick walk around the town here which has got a really like nice laid-back vibe uh, we just went to the supermarket to get a few sauces and Johnny is cooking us a paella again because we thought we're cooking a bit earlier tonight um, because we we're really hungry and we thought it'd be really nice to be able to enjoy the sunset whilst eating dinner. So Johnny is at the moment cooking some chorizo. Well, chopping some chorizo. Chopping up some chorizo. <laughs> what did I say? Cooking. <laughs> it's been a long day <laughs> in the sun. been treated to the most incredible sunset this evening we have struggled to stop taking pictures and just enjoy it for ourselves but we have felt so lucky we it just feels really tropical like you've got beautiful trees everywhere we had a beautiful golden glow and I think we're gonna sleep very well tonight with, by the sound of the ocean waves Good morning everybody. We had a super peaceful night's sleep here on the edge of the cliff last night and we've just taken the drone off this morning and been getting some really cool shots. The colour is absolutely incredible this morning so it's been really nice. And last, not last night but the night before, the first night in the van, we actually didn't realise but we had a mosquito in the van and it bit me, bit me to pieces, it bit Hannah a few times but I've got multiple bites on my face, my neck, my legs. So last night we went to the shops and we bought some um, bug spray so we could clear the van each night because we, we just want to have the doors open until we go to bed so we're making sure there's no mosquitoes in the van to bite us anymore and this morning we are testing out the van shower and I've just had a shower and it is really good actually so we're feeling nice and fresh after swimming in the ocean yesterday and Hannah is now having a shower as well. Hello! <laughs> this shower is absolutely massive compared to our shower so it feels like an absolute luxury. Bye bye. So after getting bitten quite a bit, I haven't been bitten that much but I've got a few bites. One remedy apparently is using limes on your bites and apparently it helps to reduce like the itchiness and the swelling so Johnny's got loads so I'm just going to cover him in lime juice <laughs> and I'm just going to try to put some on now. I've got one on my forehead so hopefully it works. <laughs> Feels really silly. Johnny's setting up the drone because we've got a pretty cool view look. Looks really nice. I did some research last night. We're trying to find some really cool spots because we are getting some really cool shots for um, the Two Brothers Camper Van Company so that they can showcase their incredible van. So hopefully we get some good shots. <laughs> We have just driven about 30 minutes south on our adventure through Mallorca so far and we've just come to another beach and I think we're going to have to get the drone up because the water colour looks incredible. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. Okay, so we are just walking along to the next beach because the beach we were just at and swimming in, we got there and everybody was standing on the sand looking at the water and we didn't know why because it looked incredibly beautiful. So we just went in 
And as soon as so Hannah it was went cold, in, didn't we? yeah, it was a little. It was, it was we thought refreshing. That's why they weren't going in. Yeah, but then um, Hannah looked down and there was loads of jellyfish, which was okay because they were they weren't there wasn't too many of them that you couldn't swim. But I think people were a bit scared of them, yeah. so we, we dodged them. <laughs> yeah. And I think they were dying as well because they just seemed to like every now and then just be dropping to the bottom and looked like there's quite a lot of dead ones. So I don't know if they've had a breeding season and they're just dying. We don't know. But we're walking along the path now to the next beach. And um, yeah, we can just see the colour now and it looks incredible. We have just arrived at the next beach and look at the colour of the water. The sun has come out and it is making the beautiful water look so blue. Good morning from another sunny day in Mallorca. I think it's going to hit 28 degrees today. You can already feel the heat and uh, we've got a 30 minute walk to a beautiful beach today. So we're on a beach hunt. We've just driven like maybe 10 minutes from where we were parked up last night. So it's a nice and easy drive and everywhere we've been looking it's just absolutely stunning. We have been completely blown away by how beautiful it is here and we're very excited to go and discover another beach. After a 30 minute hike we've made it through the trees and along all the dusty paths and we have finally come to the beach and it looks spectacular. We have just got back from the beach and we've driven to our next park up for this evening and it's basically right on another beach. It's so cool. The park ups here in Mallorca are epic. We'd never be able to do this in the UK and even some other European countries are very um, restricted along the coastline. So it's just been really nice to be able to park up right on the beaches here and just have epic views. And we're now having a shower because we are full of sun cream and really salty from swimming earlier. And I'm gonna show you the view that we've got. How was your shower with that view? 
Oh, it's so nice. I think this is probably the best view I've had having a shower. So, yeah, it'd be hard to top. It's so refreshing being able to have a hot shower, even though we don't really want it too hot today because it's absolutely roasting. But it's really nice being able to have a hot shower after being in the ocean. Because every time we come to the Med, I don't know, it's something about the Mediterranean, it's really salty and like it makes your hair go really like crispy. Um, I've not really noticed it anywhere else, but yeah, it gets salt all stuck to your body, so it's really nice to be able to wash that off. So we're gonna head into town, which is just like a 20 minute walk from where we're parked up at the moment, because we're thinking we might make another paella tonight, but we haven't got enough supplies. So we're gonna go wander around the town because it looks beautiful as well, and go get some things from the shops. One thing that we've spotted on some of the beaches are these beautiful, I think they look like very traditional boats. They're like wooden with um, this kind of like crisscross uh, mast and then they put up like a lovely shade and just, just looks so nice. So we've just come back from the town and we went to the supermarket and picked up some chorizo and chicken from the local supermarket and the lady was really helpful and <laughs> she recommended a chorizo because we were pointing at one and she was like oh no and was saying for some other dish so hopefully this one's going to be really good. We've got the chairs set up and the sun's just starting to dip now so it's getting nice and cool and we're ready to enjoy a lovely evening with a view of the sea. So we just ran out of gas and um, we weren't really sure what to do because we don't have a spare with us and we are I don't know where the nearest camping gas place would be, probably quite far away, probably a petrol station or somewhere. So um, Johnny just went and asked the guys next to us whether they had a spare going and we offered to pay but they basically gave it to us for free and they wouldn't accept any money. Um, so we went and gave them some chocolate instead, <laughs> I guess that's the next best thing we've got in the van at the moment. Um, so yeah, definitely made our day, we definitely believe in the kindness of strangers and we are now happily cooking our paella again and it smells really good. So we thought we'd just give you a little bit of a flavour of what it's been like um, trying van life out in Mallorca and we've actually been really surprised on how easy it has been to find park ups. We, before we came we'd heard that like facilities are really hard to find on the island and park ups might be a little bit difficult but actually we've managed to find some really nice spots and we've really enjoyed it everyone's been really friendly towards us being in the van like a lot of people have come up and been like oh wow it looks so nice like great view and everyone's just been really positive so it's been a nice contrast to other places where we've been in the van so definitely we'd give it a massive thumbs up to van life in Mallorca. So we're going to be writing a travel guide about all the places we visited here on the island and we'll link it in the description below uh, so you can read our travel guide which will be on our website. The paella is pretty much ready, it is looking amazing and it's tasting really good and I think we're going to end this episode here because we're just going to sit here, eat dinner and enjoy the sunset. So thank you so much for joining us in part one of our uh, Mallorcan adventure, that's where we are. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Don't forget to watch our next episode as we give you a full tour of the van we've been staying in and we'll also carry on our Mallorcan adventures. And don't forget to leave us a comment below of your favourite part of this episode and we'll see you guys next week for a new adventure. See you then, bye!